My dear friends, the last class I have given you about the prepositions. Today we are going to study about conjunctions. In English, we have a lot of opportunities, a lot of occasions to connect the sentences, connect the phrases, connect the words. To connect words, sentences, and phrases or clauses, we require a conjunction. What is a conjunction? Conjunction is nothing but a linking word. It's also called as connection word. To connect, to combine two sentences, two phrases, two clauses, or two words, either two nouns or pronouns, we have to use a joining word. This joining word is called conjunctions. They are also called as linkers. Linkers. These linkers are very essential to upgrade your English. Whenever you require to upgrade your English, we have to use these connectors or linkers. As long as we do not know the usages of linkers, our language will remain always simple. So my dear friends, if you want to upgrade or grow our language skills, what most essential is these linkers and the usages of linkers. Today, in this lesson, I would like to bring into your notice about certain linkers how to use. How we can use some of the joining words. These joining words are very essential to use to combine two phrases, two clauses, or two simple sentences into a bigger or a larger one. If we use the linkers only, we can join the sentences and we can make it more meaningful. So let us see. First, what are conjunctions means? These are the words used to link or connect to words or phrases, clauses or sentences. Example, we can say, Brother and sister. Here, brother and sister, here, and is a conjunction. Brother is a noun, and sister is also a noun. Brother and sister both are connected by and. So, and is a joining word. The same way, next sentence He invited me to the party, but I couldn't attend it. Here, he invited me to the party is a sentence. I couldn't attend the, par uh, attend the party is also another sentence. There are two sentences. These two sentences, just to join, I use a word that is but. My inability, I want to express my inability together. For that, I use the word is but. So this but is a conjunction. So here, we can find in English, there are two types of conjunctions. There are two types of conjunctions in English. What are they? One is subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunction. Second type is coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions examples are and, but, if, or, otherwise, though, Although, even though, when, why, were, that, etc. What about the coordinating conjunctions? Coordinating conjunctions are no sooner than, either or, neither nor, not only but also. These are called, these kinds of conjunctions are called coordinating conjunctions. They are joining two parts in a sentence, two parts in a sentence. That is why they are called coordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions and coordinating conjunctions. These are the two types of conjunctions we should understand to write or speak proficiently in English. So, my dear friends, 
today i am going to explain some of the subordinating conjunctions in front of you i hope that you understood it. what are the two types of conjunctions and what is a conjunction conjunction is nothing but a connecting word a linking word and also it is used to connect to words to phrases to clauses or two sentences so now let us learn about subordinating conjunctions so let me tell you subordinating conjunctions are used to connect subordinating clauses subordinating clauses whenever we want to make the sentences larger longer and meaningful we will use generally subordinating conjunction first let us learn about and is the conjunction and so this and when we should use the word and to connect it is used to it is used to connect connect two same ideas two same ideas ideas two nouns two nouns or pronouns nouns or pronouns two nouns or pronouns connecting purpose or two similar ideas connecting purpose also we can use and for example if we take uh, i got i got i got a pen i got a pen pencil pencil and a book and a book here pen pencil and a book before the last two nouns last two nouns in between we use and this and is connecting two nouns book and pencil i hope that you understood the same way if we want to connect it two sentences two sentences for example my father my father is a doctor my father is a doctor my brother brother is also a doctor a doctor here actually my say idea the last part you see is a doctor and is a doctor both are doctors here we can which are the different one is my father another is my brother these two people are different but both are doing the same work so we can connect it not in the middle and is used to join these two nouns for example my father my father my father and brother my father and brother are doctors are doctors so here and is used to connect my father and brother my father and my brother these two nouns are different but their activity their job is the same so doctor doctor is same so it is given and is used to connect my father and brother my father and brother okay now let me guide you towards two sentences sometimes he bought he bought he bought two books he bought two books he bought he bought four four pen Four pens. Here you see, 
he had two books and four pens. But the person who bought is the same he. Here he bought he bought different things are books and pens are different. He bought two pens, two pens and four books. Four pens. Sorry, two two books and two books, two books and four pens. Four pens. Here used and to connect uh, different things. One is two books, another is four pens. But the person who bought is the same. So he bought has no change. That is the difference what I want to tell when we use and. So whenever we use and, and is a subordinating conjunction. It is used to connect two sentences, two phrases, two clauses, or two nouns, two nouns. How to use them, you understood. Now let me guide you towards the use of and. And over. Now let us go to usages of but. Sentences often makes simple and compound and also complex sentences. Sentences are compound sentences, compound, complex, and simple sentences we can make by using these conjunctions. When we use uh, but, but is the next conjunction. When we use the word but, generally sentence becomes a compound sentence. Compound sentence. But is contradictory. It is used. It is used to used to connect connect contradictory ideas. Contradictory contradictory ideas. What is meant by contradictory ideas? Opposite ideas. Two opposite ideas, whenever we want to connect it, we must use but. Not the similar ideas. Similar ideas connecting purpose we used already and. And is the conjunction used to connect it, similar ideas. Whenever the idea is contradictory, opposite ideas. We have to use but is the conjunction. For example, let me guide you by giving an example. I I went I went to his house. I went to his house. He was he was not there. He was not there. Actually, here there are two sentences. I went to his house. Actually, I want to meet him. I went to his house. But when I went to his house, he was not there. He was not there. Actually, when I went to his house, if he is there in, in his home, we cannot use but. We must use and. I went to his house and he was there. And. But. These are contradictory, opposite. I went to meet him, but he was not there. This sentence we have to use connect with it. But I went to his house. I went to his house. House, but, but he was not there. He was not there. But he was not there. Here, I went to his house, but he was not there. These are two opposite ideas we connected by using but. They invited me. They invited me. They invited me. I didn't. 
I didn't attend. I didn't attend the function. I didn't attend the function. Here, they invited me. Actually, when they invited me, I must attend the function. But they invited me. I couldn't attend the function. I didn't attend the function. So these both opposite happened. Whenever opposite ideas are connected and, and cannot be used, but is the right connection. They invited me. They invited me. But I didn't. I didn't attend to the function. Attend the function. I didn't attend the function. Here the conjunction is but. But. So the same contradictory ideas whenever we want to express it, we can join by using but in the same place is equal to so we can use another word so although although also used a l t h o u g h although though or although is also used to connect contradictory ideas they are also conjunctions they are also subordinate conjunctions for example let me guide you with a few examples for though and although they they played they played well they played well when they play well what generally happens they have to win the match they should win the match but they played well they couldn't they couldn't win the match they couldn't win the match. This sentence I can use but first, then though or although is possible. They played well. They played well. But they couldn't. But they couldn't win the match. They couldn't win the match. Here, the conjunction but is used. This but can be replaced. This but can be replaced by do they play well? Do they play well? Do they play well? Well, they couldn't, they couldn't win the match, win the match, they couldn't win the match. Here, the condition though is used, though is used. So, though can be replaced by but, but can be replaced by though, mutually, understood? So, these both are, these three are used to connect contradictory ideas. Whenever opposite ideas, if you want to connect it, we can do that. Next, another sentence, let me tell you. They, so let us take it, India, India, Got freedom. India got freedom. But still, Indians, Indians are not free. Indians are not free. 
still Indians are not free. Although India, although, although India, although India got freedom, freedom, Indians are Indians are not free. Here, I used although, even though and although can be used. Although and even though can be used to express the contradictory ideas. My dear friends, I hope that you gained two bits of grammar piece, uh, how to connect uh, by using and and uh, how to use but and though also and is used to connect the similar ideas to nouns or pronouns uh, or similar ideas of two sentences connecting purpose and is used. But is also a chord, uh, a chord a subordinating conjunctions and that is used to connect or link always two different ideas. That is contradictory ideas, not similar ideas. To opposite ideas connecting purpose, we can use uh, but and similar other conjunctions are though and although. Though, although, even though are also used to connect opposite ideas. I hope you all understood. And now let us go to another word, another conjunction. That is, as or since. As or since. As is a, as or since, both are used to connect the reasons of a sentence. Reasons of something. Whenever we want to express some reasons, yes is used. Now, you are very famous, you are very Favorably accustomed with because, B-E-C-A-U-S-E, -E, because. Everybody knows the usage of because. Whenever we want to express the, some reasons, we use because, because is also a subordinating convention. It equals to as and to, as or since. As or since is also used to express Reasons. Something happened and it's reasons if you want to express, we use because, as, and since. Let me tell you, uh, it is, it is used to express, express reason, reason of uh, Something, something happened. Reason of something happened. Happened. Yes. Example, example. The match. The match was postponed. Match was postponed because because it rained heavily. Because it rained heavily. It rained heavily. Here, because is the conjunction. The reason to postpone the match is the reason to postpone the match is it rained heavily. This is the reason. To express the reason, we use the uh, because. The same sentence we can use as it rained heavily, as it rained, as it rained. Heavily. Which area you want to express the reason? The 
that is that subordinating conjunction is used that subordinating clause with the subordinating clause. Yes, it rained heavily. The match was postponed. The match was postponed. Here, yes is used at the beginning of the sentence. Another sentence, it rained, it rained heavily, it rained heavily, all the trains, all the trains, Continued. Their journey. Their journey. All the trains uh, stopped their journey. Stopped. Stop that journey. Here, what is the reason to stop the journey is it rained heavily. Since it rained heavily, since it rained heavily, since it rained heavily, since it rained heavily, since it rained heavily all the trains. All the trains stopped. All the trains stopped their journey. journey. Here, since is the conjunctions used. Since is a subordinating conjunction. The same way, another example I can give you here. The library was closed. The library, the library was closed. The library was closed. I returned home. I returned. I returned home. There are two sentences here. What is the reason to return home? I returned home because of some reason. The library was closed. So since I can use the since to connect it, since the library was closed, since the library was uh, library was closed, since the library was closed, I returned home. I returned it. I returned home. Here, this is the usage of since. Since, as, and because, these three are similar conjunctions used to connect the reasons of something happened. So, these three conjunctions uh, I made you familiar today. First, and, and is used to connect the similar areas. To nouns or to pronouns, two phrases or two clauses, we can connect it, we can link it, uh, to make it two sentences. When we connect it, it becomes a compound sentence. Using and and connect two sentences, two small sentences, two simple sentences, if you want to make it a, a larger or a, a compound sentence, we must use the and is the you use and connect it to small simple sentences and it becomes a compound sentence. At the same time, but though, although, even though, these connectors when we use, the sentence becomes a compound or complex sentence. When you use this, the 
conjunction but it becomes compound sentence but though although even though when you use to connect two sentences it gives us a, a new product that is complex sentence not a compound sentence because there are two independent clauses will not be there one independent clauses and another dependent clause becomes whenever there are one independent clause connected with another dependent clause it is called as a complex sentence simple sentence is only a single sentence with one main verb whenever there are two main verbs and two sentences connected by using a subordinating conjunction is called a simple sentence a simple sentence generally there want to be and only can be connected and it can consider as a two nouns or two no pronouns will be connected and it remains as a simple sentence remaining though although even though these three when you connect it it becomes complex sentence because they are subordinating conjunctions when we connect these words with another clause it, it is only a supporting clause there will be a main sentence there will be a independent sentence principal clause principal clause is connected with another uh, subordinating independent clause so it is called as a complex sentence the last one is because as and since when you connect it because as because when you connect it it becomes a compound sentence compound sentence because when you connect it becomes a compound sentence is as and since when you connect it becomes again a complex sentence a complex sentence so i hope that and also these because since and as they are reused uh, to express the reason of uh, something happened in the sentence i hope that my dear friends you all understood what is a conjunction and uh, what are the uses of uh, these conjunctions uh, a few more conjunctions subordinating more conjunctions are there i will meet you with the remaining conjunctions in the next class have a nice day